Alrighty guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought today that I would do something a little bit different and I would do a voiceover moss pole tutorial. This is a self-watering moss pole and it is my favourite one to make at the moment. I currently have about six different plants that are on this moss pole and they are all really enjoying it. So I thought I would share that with you guys as well. Obviously like I might change how I make my moss poles in the future but this is just what I'm currently enjoying at the moment. First off I have the cap for the pipe that I use. That one's just like a dollar from Bunnings. Same as the pipe. That one's only about I think three dollars from Bunnings. So it's all pretty cheap stuff. You don't have to fork out a whole ton of money. Um, sphagnum moss. So that's just some that I've already pre-moistened and um, I just get that one from Bunnings. It's just the only one that they sell, I think. So that's why I got it. I just use gutter guard. I know that you can use different sort of mes meshing, but that one was just the cheapest. Same as the macrame cord. I think I just got that from Spotlight and it's just regular cord that I like to use. Uh, so duct tape just to secure things. Um, zip ties, so I just got a hundred pack of the little zip ties. Alrighty, so what I just did there was I put the cap on the end of the pipe and I whacked it on the ground a few times just to make sure that it's really tight and that no water is gonna get out when you put that in. So I just like to get a large amount of rope. It's better to have too much rope than not enough cause you're just gonna put it into the pipe anyway. So I am very liberal with it, so. And then I just like to kind of guess where the pole is gonna go into the pot and then I start tie the rope around that spot. So you just want it to be slightly above where the soil's gonna be. And then I just got the duct tape and cut a bit off and then I secure the rope that I tied onto the pole so that doesn't move around. And then I'm just gonna put a bit more duct tape over the cap as well to ensure that no water is gonna get out. Usually they're pretty good and they're not gonna leak any water but I do this just in case because yeah. Um, and then I love the look of this, but yeah, I just wrap the rope around the outside of the pole or the piping, sorry. And then I'm just going to tie it off, chuck all the rest of that in. So as you can see, it doesn't really matter if you have a lot of excess because um, you're not going to see it anyway. It all is going to fit in there. So more is better than less or you can always trim it if you don't want all that in there. And then I just uh, measure out how much gutter guard for the length of that pole and then I just double check that and then just pop the sphagnum moss down I like to use a fair bit I would rather use more than less because I don't like to see the pole through the sphagnum moss So as you can see, it's a pretty good thick layer. And then just pop the pipe onto that. And then you're pretty much ready to start rolling after I've fiddled around with it. And then, yeah, so I would usually use a lot more zip ties than what I've got there, but that's all that I had left. So I just um, kind of kebab roll it like a wrap, I guess and just do it as tight as I can. Obviously, if you want it to be more loose, you can, but I just think that keeps the sphagnum in place really well. And then just go along, zip tie all of the spots, just in sections. This is probably the fiddliest part of the whole thing and it takes the longest amount of time. And especially since it's cold now, my fingers get frozen touching the wet sphagnum moss, but it's okay. It's worth it because my plants really enjoy these sphagnum moss poles. It's 
and so with the top and the bottom I haven't really discovered a way to make it look super neat so I just put a zip tie at the bottom and try and tighten it as much as I can and that looks fine and then I just trim off the zip ties and the extra meshing or the gutter guard just to tidy it up a little bit obviously you know it's not the neatest thing in the world and I'm sure that you guys will have a neater method of doing that so yeah and then um, here is me just potting it into the pot This plant was well overdue for a moss pole, so I hope that it really enjoys it. It already has some aerial roots poking out, so I did try and put it, like tuck them into the pole a little bit. And I just tied it with that macrame, macrame cord again to help secure it. And that's pretty much it. And this is what the finished result looks like. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed um, this moss pole tutorial. Um, if you would like to see other tutorials or anything like that in the future, I would definitely be keen on doing that. And if you had any video suggestions that you would like to see in the future, I'm always open to suggestions. So pop them down in the comments below. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye!